Hello guys, in this video I want to show you five useful hints for LibreOffice Calc to get more familiar with it and to learn five quite useful hacks. So I would say let's start. Let us begin with the user interface. I personally don't like the default user interface. For me many functions aren't available visually and it isn't quite well sorted in my opinion. So I select here view and select use interface and in here I select the tapped UI and I select apply to all and after that we have a ribbon style interface which is similar to for example Microsoft Office. I personally like that very much and I'm using that all the time. So I would say let us head to our next quick hint and that is the auto completion. For example if I'm typing in January and I want to calculate my income of different locations for example in a half a year I'm selecting January here I write it, it down and then we see a small crat here on the right bottom corner of this cell and if I drag and drop this small thing here to the right for example or to the bottom it is completely up to you then it is automatically filling the other fields with the useful data in this case it's of course the month and this is very useful. You can also do this with formulas or with simple values or numbers. This is quite helpful I would say. Let us come to our next hint. I pasted some data for our table. It is completely up to you which are you writing in here. I have four locations in my case with different incomes um, for each month and this is completely enough for this example. I, at first I want to convert this one to our currency so I select this one and in the end I'm selecting format as currency and now this one looks quite better. After that I want to sum up all these values here quite efficiently so I'm selecting this field here and you can just use the sum function here. I select the sum function and select sum here in this case and press enter or hit the accept button here. Perfect. And now we see our complete sum. This looks great. But another useful tip, if LibreOffice didn't select it, the sum quite well, just double click it and now you can define the sum field as on your own. For example, I can also do the sum field for all these fields, so all fields are sum up together but in this case I don't want to do this so I press Control Z or Control Z in this case or just press undo in this case and then this is gone. But it's very important you can also uh, drag and drop these sum fields or these function fields here which are defined in these brackets and uh, this is quite helpful I would say. So after that I also want to sum up all the other fields. I don't want to assign a sum for each field. So I can just head over to this first sum sign and drag and drop this little quad here to the right cells here and after that these sum fields are applied and if I double click just one you see it's completely right how I wanted it and so we have very quick our sum formula here. I just describe it as sum and uh, I think this looks quite nice. I also want to assign sums on the right side that I can see the complete performance of a location for six months. So I'm also assigning the sum field here. It is very useful for you and LibreOffice to name your fields and then I'm just marking the fields I want to sum up. I want to sum up everything. I want to sum up Nuremberg, London, Berlin, Dublin and also the sum of these ones and then we are getting the complete sum down here. So I'm uh, just selecting these fields and just select sum in here and now it is calculating the sums completely automatically because it automatically detects okay which fields I have to sum up and this looks quite 
good. So in the end I'm also hitting the currency field here, so these these values are displayed as a currency. At the next step I want to sort these fields here after some performances, for example a month. And for that we have to do some preparations. At first we have to ensure that every column we want to include in our small data field has a appropriate naming. Otherwise LibreOffice doesn't do that very well. So in our case I have to name this column. For example I'm naming that location. It is completely enough for me. So after that I now want to sort these fields here. But LibreOffice would automatically sort the last field too, which we obviously don't want in any case because it's our sum and uh, it isn't a quite good data field. So we have split our data and our function fields in this case here. The sum in the end doesn't do anything because it is just affecting the row and not the complete column. Um, you will see in a second what I am really meaning. So to split the data field and the sum field here I am just hitting the 7 icon here on the left side. So I am selecting the whole row here and I am right clicking this and select insert row above. So we have a complete new row here and LibreOffice did update the sum fields here quite appropriately. So this is okay for us. And now we can do some little hocus pocus thing I would say. I'm selecting the headings here I want in my data field I want to aggregate and now I'm hitting the auto filter button here. And that gives us some special signs here and if I hit on such a sign I can select OK I want to sort these all as ending. And now we sorted all these four rows as ending in the March field. Or I can just head over to the sum field and sort desk ending and this gives us the best location of the half year which is in our case Nuremberg. Or on the location field I just can also sort it for example desk ending in this case then we sorted these by alphabet. This is quite useful for data aggregation and to get really to know to the data and to work with it. I very like these ones and this was another hint. Let us come to the next hint which is quite helpful with our formulas and this is the percentage. If I want to create the percentage of a location to the rest I'm selecting the field here where I want to put the formula, select the formula icon and um, then selecting the first field in my formula which is the field right next to me and then I'm typing in a division sign here and now I can select the another cell. In our case this is obviously the complete sum of this whole case and this is this field down here. And that is quite good in my case but in this case I also want to get a very nice percentage so I select this one and select the percentage field here and now I have a quite good percentage here. But if I now want to apply this formula to another field just by copy and pasting we see a division zero error because if we look into the formula, just double click it, um, it is trying to divide the field down here because this field, this right field is also complete relative to our formula field. Because um, as we defined our function here in the first field we did say LibreOffice OK at the first part take the field right next to you, the left field right next to you and and as a second position the left field and then one, two, three, four, five down for the another field. But how can I say LibreOffice hey I want to use this field every time in my second position. So I'm selecting the A tier and put a dollar sign before it. So I say LibreOffice OK the rest is dynamic but I really want to 
get the eighth field here for our complete sum. So this height here won't change for any function here if I copy and paste it. So I made it absolute in this point. If you want to make this whole field absolute, so also the age here absolute, you just put for example the dollar for the before the age, then this is also completely fine. But in our case it's a way too much. It isn't wrong, but it is too much um, in my opinion because this also works quite fine. So be very spare with these dollar signs. In our case this is completely enough. So if I copy this one here and paste this one, then we see okay our function still applies with the correct fields. If I just hit this one we see okay the dollar eight does its thing. Yeah, the functions are now right. And in the end I personally recommend also to add the auto filter here. It wouldn't make any difference in this case, but if we have our complete data set, it really makes sense to also hit the auto filter to this formula here. So now this looks quite nice. In the end I want to export my data to a very simple PDF file. How we are gonna do that very nice. At first I am just pre-saving this file in a ODS format. Just type in a name and save it and now we are gonna hit print here in the left upper corner and I'm selecting here print to file and let us just print out the default what does LibreOffice by default. But I say to you it isn't quite fine in this case. I give this PDF a name and if we look to it we have our table very very small in this sheet and we have it in two pages which is completely useless in my case. So yeah, what can we do for this? I'm heading over to the library office and at first I want to adjust these columns here. So instead of adjusting them with the mouse by clicking and dragging, I just double click these um, things here on the column and LibreOffice does it all by default and now the fields are fitting very very well into the table and this looks quite okay I would say. Now I'm doing a bit of borders. You can do many more things with borders but I want to teach you the basement so I'm selecting all these fields here for my table and I'm selecting specify borders and I'm selecting, I recommend you for this one, outer border and horizontal lines. So we become horizontal lines and we have a outer border. This is quite okay but in my case I also want to separate this location here from the other types. So I'm selecting this column here and select in my border menu outer border only, then we get a outer border of this selected one and now we have a border there and I also want to separate the sum border from the rest and so I'm selecting also outer border only and now we have our borders where I want to have them and in the end I'm um, heading over to this fields and make these aligning to a center. This looks in my opinion quite nice. You can do that however you want and in the end I'm just printing something bold here. This is okay and the sums are here underlined. This looks quite fine and I personally don't like that these numbers are as big as the headings so I'm selecting here my numbers and select a different size for example 8 and I think that looks quite okay and I want to align them vertically in the center. So I'm selecting this icon here, center vertically and then now all our fields are aligned to the center also vertically and this looks quite okay in my opinion. So I'm hitting just save and now I want to print this on one sheet in landscape mode. How do we do that? I head over to file and select print preview. Here we can now format our page. 
I select format page and at the first one I am heading over to page. Here I can define the format and the orientation. I am selecting landscape orientation here and this gives us the, la the landscape mode and I also want to remove the sheet 1 sign here and the page 1 footer here. So I am selecting header and disable the header here and I also head over to the footer and also deselect this footer here. Perfect. I select OK and then we have quite a nice table on our sheet but in my opinion it is too small. I want to use the complete width of this page. How do I do that? I select format page again and select the last tab here which is called sheet and here I can select the scaling factor and yeah now we have about 100% maybe let's try it with 130 for example I am selecting OK and yeah this looks quite good now I'm scaling up my table on this sheet and this now looks quite nice and quite printable doesn't it? So in the end I'm selecting print here and I'm selecting print to file or print it to a real printer. It's up to you. I select print to file and define a name for that. And if I now open up my table here, this looks quite nice and usable. So that was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and share this video with someone who really sucks at Excel or LibreOffice Calc and send him this video. I think it would be a great idea. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next one. Bye!